Hello everyone, we are in a chapter called electrostatics where we are dealing with the charges in the state of rest and its applications. We know charges are of two types, they are positive and negative charges and it is all the bodies are going to be get charged using the different methods like we have discussed like friction, conduction, by in contact and in all these cases what get transferred from one body to other is electrons. The body who has gained electrons is negatively charged, body who lost electrons is positively charged. Of course, their mass slightly varies, body who gained electrons has got extra particles, therefore its mass also slightly increases where electron is treated like a fundamental particle and the body who lost electrons its mass will be slightly decreasing. Anyway, we would like to discuss a different way of uh, transfer. It is not a transfer, different way of influence so that the bodies get charged is called something like induction. This is a quite different method in such a way that for this to happen bodies need not be in contact. Say for example, I have one body which is positively charged that means it is having excess positive charge, less number of the electrons. I have another body simultaneously a little far who is neutral. It is having identical charges equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So, for example, two positive charges and two negative charges. Now, if I get this, so this is a neutral body, this is a positively charged body. You know around this positive charge up to where it can influence the neighboring charges up to some distance. Of course, it is a very long range. The space up to where it can influence is called something like electric field. Electric field. Say now I started moving this neutral body got into this electric field. And what happens if I got this neutral body into the electric field is so. Let me draw that uh, body here. I have moved this from here to here. The initial body is full of positive charges. So, it started, it starts polarizing the charges inside the body, inside the neutral body in such a way that the positive charges pulls the negative charges of the other body towards it and pushes the positive charges of the other body away from it. Thus, charges separation happens in this neutral body. This is called something like charge polarization or separation of the charges. As now near to the positive charge there is a negative charge between these two an attraction develops. That means what? This neutral body is now behaving like a charged body itself. This method is called something like induction. So, how can I define induction? It is quite simple. Induction is phenomena of separation of charges in a neutral body <coughs> which is also called polarization of charges. When it is under the influence of under the influence of another charged body, under the influence of another charged body. This is what do you mean by induction. So, once if the induction starts happening, charges separation happens. Once the charges separation happens between the two bodies, now there is a force of attraction. That is why people say a statement called induction precedes attraction, induction precedes attraction. What do you mean by it? You get a neutral body, first polarization happens, charges separation will happen, then that is called induction. As now opposite charges are near to each other, body starts attraction. Therefore, attraction cannot happens first polarization happens first. 
that is called induction. So, we would like to say induction precedes uh, attraction. Basing on this, we can also say one statement that uh, repulsion is the sure test. Repulsion is the sure test of charge existing on a body. Why? Even if the charge is a neutral body like we have explained earlier, between them induction can happen and then attraction can happen. Just because of attraction, we cannot confirm that the other body is a neutral body. What I can say? Attraction may be due to either a opposite charge or it may be due to the induction also. That is why we say attraction is not a sure test to identify that the bodies are got charged. Rather, repulsion is a sure test to confirm that uh, the two bodies are having a similar charge. Right? That is the point that I would like to discuss in this called charging of the body by induction. Thank you.